my lovies. Are you ready to practice some more words? Blending words. A lot of the words that we're going to use today are going to have the sound that H. A lot of the words will have an H in them. And remember that the sound of H is <sighs> Our picture that I used in my classroom was called a hound dog. And the hound dog, we would say hound dog, hound dog. <sighs> so that's the sound of H. All right. Ah, remember we're going to blend the first two sounds together. Sat. Pam and Sam sat. We're going to practice some of the words that we did before as well. So sap. Remember sap? Mom, could I please have some sap for my pancakes? Sap. Ah, d. Remember, that's going to be a D. If I put another circle on the top, it is not going to be a capital B. That tells me it's not a B, it's a D. Sad. He is sad. And, of course, the opposite of sad is happy. Ta. Tag, remember, the tag that can be on a close. Tap. Tap. You can tap your toes. Tan. Tan. He's going to get a tan at the beach. Tam. Tam. And this tam is a funny little hat that golfers wear sometimes. And we'll have to ask Uncle Rich if he'd like to wear a tam when he goes golfing. Tam. Put a circle. That's a B. B. A. G. Bag. B. At, and bat can be two things. It can be a bat that hangs in the tree or you hit the baseball bat. Ab. Cab. Can. Can. At. Cat, cap, cap. I'm noticing I don't see any words that start with H. Maybe we were just supposed to practice that sound. Hmm. M a s t. Mast. Do you remember what mast is? On a sailboat, it's the poles that hold up the sails. Mast. At. We are at the swamp. Remember when we went to the Florida game? There's our a hat. Hat. As. Has. Read the sentence. She. Has. Hats. Now check. Is that going to be a B or a D? D. Had. Read the sentence. He. Had. Fun. Am. Ham. Oh, I love ham. We can cook it and serve it like that or slice it and put it on a ham sandwich. Oh, I love to eat ham. And. 
hand. Now, if you look at this word and I cover up the H, you're going to see the word and. Hand. There's, he's going to raise his hand. V, A, N. That's right, van. P, A, P, A, N. Pan. We can make pancakes in a pan. P, P, at. Pat. They're going to pat the dog's head. Oops, take a look at that capital. Remember what that means. It's going to mean a name. So now, same word, P, at. But it doesn't mean pat the dog's head. It's going to be the name of a girl, usually. Pat. Oh, there's another capital. Remember? Sam. Sam is usually a boy's name. Man. Man. Map. Map. There's the map of the United States. It's always easy to find Florida because Florida sticks out like you could grab onto it and hold on to it because we have water on both sides of us. Map. Mat. Remember what a doormat is where you wipe your feet? Now there's the word mat, and if we put an S on the end, remember what that means? More than one. More than one. She has an exercise mat, and those are some mats by the door so that you don't bring the dirt into the house. Mat. Mats. Now let's have a sentence. When I see two letters, I'm just going to give it one sound. Matt, not a doormat. This is going to be someone's name. Matt has, has a hat. All right, read the whole thing. Matt has a hat. Okay. The am is in the pan. And when I see this period, I know it's the end of the sentence, and I'll take a breath. All right, read that whole sentence for me. The ham is in the pan. Good. There's Sam. Add... Sam had ache and a b at. There's the period, so I know it's the end of the sentence. Read the whole sentence again. Sam had a cap and a bat. There's Sam. All right, here's our word family. Remember, all of the words are going to end in am. I'm going to go quickly. Let's see if you can do it. There's am. Am. Jam. Sorry about the phone. R am. Sam. Pam. Ham, yeah, am, coal, am, soul, am. Good work. See you later, alligator.